What's up everybody, it's your boy Jay from Brother Cousins Toy Reviews And I just want to say happy holidays to everybody out there Hope you all are doing well What I'm about to do is open up my gifts And by looking at this uh, wrapping paper, you probably already know what it is But uh, let's see what it is That's right guys, I got the Seed of Chucky 1 to 1 scale Chucky replica from Trick or Treat Studios. This was a Christmas present and a wonderful Christmas present, might I add, from my lady. Very awesome, very awesome, very cool. Um, yeah, so what we're going to be doing is um, taking this out of the box and showing you guys what this thing looks like. But before I do that, I want to show you some aspects of the box. Okay guys, so I wanna show you what the side panels of the box look like right here. You can see the Seed of Chucky logo right there. It says, time to raise some hell. And you also have this wonderful shot of Chucky right here from the film, looking dope as hell. You have a little bit of uh, scar graphics on the box right here, which gives a nice little reflective little uh, shimmer right there. You also say, also says one to one scale Chucky replica. And you also get the Trick or Treat Studios logo. Turn it to the back. We have this right here. Once again, with the Seed of Chucky logo. Time to raise some hell. Get a load of Chucky. Get this wonderful graphic of Chucky right here, which is, looks cool as hell. Um, and it says the phrase, I'm Chucky, the killer doll, and I dig it. And you also get some cool good guy footprints right here, which kind of takes it back to the whole good guy box um, from the uh, the prop box from the movies. Um, contains one killer doll. You get the Trick or Treat Studios logo right there. Again, one of the coolest aspects of the box is the back. Um, flip this side right here. You get the same thing you had on the other panel. And uh, that's pretty much it with the box. And here it is in all its glory. The Trick or Treat Studios one to one scale see the Chucky doll. You know I'm going to say it. This thing is amazing. I mean, I have the good guy, the Trick or Treat Studios good guy doll. And I thought that was amazing. But looking at all the detail in this guy right here, it just takes it to a whole nother level. I completely understand why this one was actually $600 and the good guy doll was only $500. I mean, the details that go into this guy are just, just ridiculous. I mean, he's a feast for the eyes on down to the, from, from the stitching on down to the stitching of the outfit, to the stitching of the face, to the... Uh, details in the eyes that just so lifelike. I mean, it looks like this thing is ready to come alive and start attacking you any minute. All right, guys, since this is such a big piece, I'm gonna be going a little handheld with this just to show you all the details. And I'm sorry about those shadows in the back. Like I said, not quite used to filming such a big piece like this. Take a look at the actual stitches in the head right here. Those are actual staples that they got in there, y'all. This just looks amazing. And you see this little gash right here where you can see the good guy doll metal skull underneath, just looks great. And I didn't even notice this when I bought it or even looking at the pictures right here, but these are actual <laughs> uh, uh, rooted eyebrows which just make this thing look way more realistic in the eyes i mean look at those eyes those eyes are ridiculous i mean they look real and i mean we're looking at this in 4k but i'm gonna be honest with you it doesn't know justice when you see this thing in person you're gonna be like whoa what the hell what i like about the hair right now if you see how i have the hair uh the hair is rooted it wasn't like the good guy doll that just had like a wig the hair is actually rooted in on this which allows you to position the hair right now i'm a big fan of the bride of chucky style 
So, and I like, you know, so you can see all the details and the stitches and the staples and everything. So I have his hairstyle the way he had it in The Bride of Chucky, but you can also have it the way he looked in uh, Cedar Chucky. I prefer this style, so this is the style we're gonna go with. But uh, yeah, I know a lot of people don't like this area right here, the mouth. The mouth is a little soft. I think they could have added a little more detail there, a little bit more painting, whatever. They could have did that, but they didn't. Let's move to the other side. Show you that big gash right there. Look at that. You can definitely see the big gash right there. More staples, more stitching. Look at that big gash right there. Wow. This thing is fucking amazing. You see all the gashes, all the staples and all the stitches just looks great. Okay, we look at the other little details. We can see all the like, those are actual <laughs> safety pins that are in his little sweater right there. You see the cuts all into the good guy jumper, which just look phenomenal. It just looks awesome and amazing. I mean, like I said, this thing is a feast for the eyes. I mean, you'll be staring at one part of it and next thing you know your eyes drawn to another it's just a excellent piece another thing you can see the little uh scars on the hand right there which looks good if it's only one pet peeve that i have on this doll is the fact that his hands are like that i mean i really wish they made a certain thing where he could actually grip or give him a a set of interchangeable hands where he can grip a knife or something like that. For, I can understand them not doing it for the good guy dogs. The good guy doll is supposed to be an inanimate doll. But because he's Chucky, he should do something with his hands and just have his hands like that. But I will say the piece speaks for itself and really doesn't need that, which is why they probably didn't include it. Um, but I'm, I, I am interested to see what NECA is going to do, because I know NECA's doll is going to have that ability. So we'll see what happens with that. But moving on with the rest of the outfit, you get more uh, tears in the jumper. You get more uh, stitching across the sweater right here, across the sweater right there. You get more safety pins. And comparing these good guy PJ sneakers to the good guy sneakers, these are actually darker. Um, I wish they were a little bit more dirty and I'm probably going to go with, and, you know, probably take some, do a little light paint work and weather them and make them all dirty myself just to give it that more realistic looking uh, effect. Um, now I know a lot of people are going to have this question. Did this stand come with the doll? No, it didn't. These dolls don't come with stands. This is a stand that I made myself. So you can get these parts at Michael's and Home Depot and you can tell right there I used a, a wire hanger to put that to part, get that piece together. But I'll probably do a tutorial on how uh, how I made that stand. But yeah, it doesn't come with it. I made it myself. OK, guys, I wanted to show you a comparison between Chucky and the good guy doll and I mean, it's almost like night and day. As you can see with the good guy doll right there, it's pretty much the good guy doll, you know, is a doll. And it's very, very tan. Um, when you look at Chucky, Chucky is just, you know, very pale, very, you know, has that very cold stare and everything like that. And I mean, it just looks, it just shows you the difference between Chucky and the good guy doll. And the good guy doll is a toy and Chucky is the living killer doll and you just see why <laughs> you can't have one without the other you know anybody that's col a collector or that's collecting this you just can't have one I mean some people I know just want to have a good guy doll and that's and that's cool and that's fine but I think having the Chucky doll and good guy doll are an essential are both essential to any Chucky collection it's like if you're gonna have one you get you can't have one without the other um, but if you were, but you know, I don't want to say that if you want just a Chucky, you know, just a Chucky doll or whatever, I would say, get the new one, get this new seat of Chucky doll. Um, but if you really want to enhance that collection and just, you know, show the transport, you know, before the transformation and the transformation, I would say get both. Um, I think having both just gives you a more complete experience. 
Okay, so one final thing about this doll. I wanted to show you how poseable it is. The head does do a 360 swivel turn, just like that, so he can look different directions. The arms do pose. Posing is really good on the arms. The hands turn and twist. So you can have him doing gestures and stuff like that, like he's trying to shake somebody's hand. I don't know why Chucky would try to shake somebody's hand, but you can do that if you want. Also, the legs bend and turn, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay guys, so that's been my review of the Trick or Treat Studios one to one scale See the Chucky doll. Let me know what you think. Are you gonna pick this one up or are you gonna wait for the Bride of Chucky dolls from NECA? Those look cool. They may even be a little cooler than this one. I don't know, but for right now, I think Trick or Treat Studios has nailed it. But let me know, leave a comment like share subscribe bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff i'll see you on the next one peace and we are out